go to the front viewport right click to make it current go to the view viewport background select the file image of the rock open the image hit ok so the image is now our background we are ready to make a spline over it go to the line start from above make sure the shift key is pressed click on next point and then third one make the shape of the rock in the background from these splines make the shape something like this maybe you have a different picture so model over the picture according to your needs okay make the shape of a rock and then click on our beginning point and click then yes come out of the line command zoom out a little bit and pan him in the middle so zoom in to see the clearly now we are going to adjust the exact picture in the background to match our splines to this picture We had done the same work in our pound tutorial. Make this corner. Roll out to the fillet command. Be sure the vertex, vertex are selected. And grab this vertex up. Human shape be sure the shape is same in the picture of background pan up a little bit select this one Select only one vertex and make him smooth because the, in the picture this portion is so smooth. Let's grab this a bit up. Select this both and make them smooth because here is the corner go to fill it and a little bit fill it this vertex grab them out just a little below same in the picture we had the picture in the background we can scroll to now pan up to the head portion select this both as we seeing the we select this both 
and make them smooth so that it's not working here so just select one and then smooth it grab this polygon okay almost we had done just pull him a little bit out and then it's done okay zoom out to our whole object pan him in the middle go to the perspective view select the object modify your panel and choose the lathe come down and click on min and the, in the segment type 36 as we are seeing our object is ready and a bit of smooth be sure the world core is checked with the rock still selected make sure you are still in the modifier panel from modifier list choose edit poly the selection rollout click the polygon button now try to select the top of the rock as you can see you can only select a fraction of the area 1 by 36 of the top area to be exact on the selection rollout click the vertex button select the vertex in the top center area of the rock hold the control key down and click the polygon button again As you can see, all the polygons connected to the selected vertex are automatically selected. Press F4 to turn on edge faces display if necessary. This allows you to see the shaded object and its underlying geometry. On the edit polygons, roll out, click the setting button next to inset. In the dialog that appears, set in set amount. Be sure the inset type is on group. Click OK to close the dialog box and save the inset. On the selection rollout, make sure you are at the polygon sub object layer. Use the select tool to select four adjustment polygons in the out ring. Skip the next two polygons and then select the four after those. Repeat the procedure around the circle vents until the selection resembles the following shape. You can do this process by holding down the control key. On the selection, edit polygons rollout, click the setting button next to extrude. On the dialog that appears, set the extrusion height value to match the height of the battlement in the reference image in the front viewport. Change the value if necessary. 
When you are finished, click OK to save the execution and exit the dialog. Make extrusion height something about 20.1. On the selection rollout, click the polygon button to exit the level. And now press 4 again to exit edges faces displayed. Now if you notice that face state effect on the battlement, you will fix that in a mode. Zoom out a little bit to see the full object. Now make sure the rock object is still selected and are in the mod modify panel. From modify list, choose both the entire rock now appears faceted. In the parameters rollout, turn auto smooth on and leave threshold at the default value of 30. Any two adjoining faces that meet at N and less than that value will be made part of the same smoothing group and no edge will appear between them. Okay. So now our shape has been completed. We have model a rock. So in this lesson, you learn to create a new geometry using face extrusion. You also learn how to use smoothing groups to give your objects a smoother look. Thank you for watching this tutorial.